A Portland filmmaker is calling attention to a side of gun violence we rarely hear about. Her documentary profiles four people who have shot someone in self-defense or by accident. The look at the lasting impact on their lives is emotional and powerful. I was so grateful that I survived. I reminded myself every day, I'm alive. I'm alive. It's all about us closer, and I appreciate that y'all all done for me. My brother. <laughs> the woman behind this project is a graduate of Columbine High School, where a school shooting back in 1999 took the life of her teacher, Dave Sanders, and a dozen students were killed there. Heidi Human is forever impacted, is what she sees in these lives, and she joins us with June Vining of the Trauma Intervention Program. And Heidi, first of all, in that very powerful clip, it just touched on two of the four stories you tell. What were the circumstances there? Yeah, so the young boy Taylor, when he was eight, he accidentally shot and killed his little five-year-old brother when he found his mom's gun that she had not t put up that one morning. Mm -hmm. And then Kristen had survived an a, a attempt on suicide. And June, your part in this, it's trauma intervention, and you try to get people early on to reduce the impact on their lives? Is that the point of your program? The point is dealing with people after the trauma and giving them the emotional support and the practical support people. After something really bad has happened, how do we take care of them and help them process through? Are there any similarities between people who are the ones who pull the trigger and maybe recovering victims of gunshot violence or of gun violence, whether they were shot themselves or a family member? Do you find similarities there on either side of, of the trigger? Well, everybody's traumatized, but the thing about these people is this is part of the story we don't hear. We hear about the victims of gun violence, and it's very tragic, especially coming after these mass shootings that just happened. But the people who have the guns in their homes that are, they're being used every day in suicides and accidental shootings, they're traumatized and they're very alone in the situation. And there's a moral injury that happens. For example, Kevin in the film, he killed an intruder that was in his home and it was justified so he wasn't arrested, but he's, he deals with the impact of that. He has trauma and he has uh, all kinds of uh, paranoia and nightmares because of it. And culturally, some would say that some people would applaud him and say, wow, you're a brave man, you did the right thing, you stood up for yourself, you defended your ground. Um, do you see that a lot of these people maybe don't feel that, that same sense of accomplishment in doing something yeah, like this? Yeah, Kevin tells a story that he has a neighbor who says to him, hey, Kevin, did you kill anybody today? Oh, Oof. my. I mean, it's, it's hard. So, June, how, as a society, then, can we help with the trauma that these folks are suffering. You rely on volunteers, correct, who you right. train? Right, in fact, we have a group graduating tonight, 36 adding to our group of about 200. And basically, what I want to say is slow down. We can't stop the bad things from happening, but we can be present and we can listen to people tell their story because they need to be heard. Um, and we don't want to start a statement with at least. And mm -hmm. so many people want to say, but at least you're okay, or you weren't there, or you don't know, and we are affected. We're hearing that right now from people who were at the Reynolds school shooting and now seeing this all on TV, how they're affected, or the Clackamas Town Center shooting. And it's bringing things back. So we need to be kind and gentle and know how to take care of ourselves. A difficult subject to take up, Heidi. How do people see this documentary, and what do you want them to take away from it? So it's going to be released on September 3rd nationally on different platforms like iTunes, Amazon, and a bunch of different platforms like that. But it'll be in Portland on the, uh, at the end of the month um, at a film festival, Oregon, International, or Oregon Independent Film Festival, mm -hmm. and then October 1st in the area. And so if you go to the website behindthebulletfilm.com, people can find out more information. And the takeaway for you in it's terms of what you want people to remember. I want people to remember that there's a bigger impact to gun violence than just the victims. It affects so many people on both sides of the gun. Well, thank you both for coming by today in a really important, timely topic. Thank you.